I was very excited just before this call to receive, but I didn't get to review a PowerPoint that a friend of mine, a fellow small business owner who's been much more shut down, he owns a mixed martial arts studio. Um, so he was just, revenue just evaporated like a restaurant owner say. Um, he sent me a PowerPoint that I'm looking forward to look, uh, looking through, looking forward to look through about um, all of the programs that are available to small yeah. business owners. So yeah. there's a lot of learning I gotta do right there. I got to, yeah. but I'm also gonna cut costs. I'm gonna try to hang on to people. And I believe there's a component to it. Uh, I was in this conversation the other day with someone. I believe there's a component to it um, that, that could have an impact on real estate agents. If we have people on salaries, um, and things like that, that, that we could take advantage of. So, so while we're deep into this conversation, I want to let everybody know as Carlos talks about um, surfaces versus person to person contact, or we talk about a, a, what's in the package for real estate agents. This is just a conversation. This isn't how you guys absolutely have to go out and do your business, but I think it's the conversations we're in uh, with each other. So we just wanted to, to share that, you know, how is Carlos Garcia, Vin Garcia thinking a billion dollar agent, um, thinking about this. One of the questions I get a lot and people are trying to compare it. And I don't know if you're receiving this question or not is, is this going to be like 08 and 09? And I, and the thing I'm telling people is there's no way it's the same as 08 and 09. We've got a much bigger thing in front of us before we can even get to that 08 and 09 conversation to understand the fluidity of the market. And um, I just, as people, that, that's the number one question I hear agents ask uh, is, is what it feels like and what it felt like in 08 and 09. And I just don't think we're to that spot yet where we could even compare. And what I would tell people, and I do tell people is, if it does become like that, there is still plenty of business to have. To have you just had to figure out what what segment of the market was moving, and and that's how I'm viewing it. So when we come on the other side, the market's going to move. Houses are going to sell. Which houses, which price point, and who are the buyers becomes the mindset for me on the other side. Are you similar, Jamar? You, you've been my real estate brother since just before that crash. So we went through it together. And if, if I remember correctly, you and I grew a lot during those tough years yep. as, as realtors, as professionals, as a resource to our clients. So we know that you can be improved by the challenges associated with a shift like this. You can, you, you, you can be a stronger professional if you figure out how to thrive in a really changing environment. So let me hold on to that for a second, because you said something right there that, that totally resonates with me. You have a piece of a mindset right here, right now, that this is training ground for a better version of you, Carlos, the agent. I mean, I'm talking about it with my team. I'm very worried that some of the newer agents think it sounds interesting, like a cliche, but... They're like, but that, that won't necessarily happen for me. Um, so I'm trying to make it more real. I'm trying to describe how these, these kinds of changes force ingenuity, force you to try new things. And today we had a great, great call where one of the agents who recently has started to become more productive on our team told the rest of the team about... Um, showing an out-of-town client a couple of properties via video. I think it was FaceTime or mm -hmm. WhatsApp. So it was a virtual showing. And one of the properties was one that the client didn't know about, the buyer didn't know about. It, it, it had been temporarily off the market, so it didn't show up in his searches. So the agent found it for him. And then the agent wrestled with the listing agent, said, look, you're trying to sell it, so am I put it into active mode, that listing agent wanted to be compliant with um, Bright MLS, mm -hmm. so didn't want it to be shown in temp off. So for the agent, put it into active, and, and then he was able to show it. And just the, to think of doing all those things in a normal market, that wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Um, it, 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 it forced this agent, David, to, to think of new ways to add value for this very frustrated out-of-state buyer and the guy um, was really, 
really, really excited the, the, the buyer was, and so was the agent. And so then I said to the other agents on the team, look guys, this is in real time an example of how you get strengthened in these down times. Because that whole explanation of what he did for that client yesterday, I mean, even I, who I think I've been improved by, by ad, ad, uh, ad, 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 adverse circumstances in the past, I think I've adopted, adapted, morphed. Um, I hadn't done that, not, not with a temp off one. He took it to another level. And just showing people that that's, it doesn't sound that big, but that's an example of something that could become a thing for you to do. Um, I certainly have noticed how I am, um, you know, really, really putting a lot of energy into convincing uh, agents in coming soon to, to accelerate things, to let me and my agents show things now. So it's a similar kind of thing. I didn't used to do that as much. I'm forced to now because, I, I, you know, there's someone who wants to get it done quick before they, they fear, like a buyer, that they'll, they won't be able to, to get it done. Or maybe they just want to finish their shirt, search, shut it down and, and, and start hanging out at home and chilling out like the rest of their friends. Um, so, so all of this uh, adversity um, creates these opportunities. The problem is people can hear people like you and me say it, and they won't necessarily believe it until they start getting these little examples that are not that remarkable, but you add them up, and I think they really add up to something. Mm. What percentage of agents do you think through this, this cycle will depart from the business? And, and I look at it like this, and it's, it's not, um, from a business standpoint, it's exciting for me to say what I'm about to say. From an agent to agent, I, I have empathy for them. Uh, I think a lot of agents are about to depart from the business over the next six months, maybe three months. Um, my guesstimate is somewhere between 25 and 30% of agents are not going to be around doing business in the next 36 months. As a business professional, cool, more market share, more opportunity. Agent to agent, it hurts a little bit because if you're brand new or, or just entering the game, it, it's a tough time. How do you see that? I was going to throw a number out like a quarter, 25%. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really... Uh, I'm not grounded in, in, in evidence there, but uh, that's what my gut feels. And I, I recall that it was a substantial chunk last time as well. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it's true. Um, it's going to be sad. There'll be some people we, whose company we enjoy, we enjoy working with, but who just don't want to necessarily deal with what's coming. And what do you think, and, and last question before we get out of here, what do you think, in your humble opinion, the timing before we see and feel normal again from a business standpoint and personal too. It doesn't. Matter. Well, let me just be clear. Um, I was saying that there, I'm looking back at my cheat sheet, my notes. I'm, I'm saying to anyone who'll listen, I anticipate four stages. I think we're in stage two now. Um, this is really for the economy as a whole and for us as realtors. Sure. Um, in stage two is where it's the roughest for realtors. I think we get to fully operate or virtually fully operate in three of the four stages, one which we're leaving, two not so much, yes three, and yes four. So for us, I think that um, the question really is going to be, when can we show houses? As of now, I think we still can in all three jurisdictions. Not clear on, on Maryland as of 8 p.m. tonight. Right. So we're entering stage two where it's going to be completely or virtually completely shut down. I think that's, we're, in, we're about as realtors to enter the roughest stage for us. I Hair think so. Color owners, hair salon people, stage one, it, it just evaporated right. for them. Um, right. So, so we, we're lucky. We're relatively lucky. This is, the, this is the stage where we need to be most creative. How long will this stage last? Till then we get to three where they start to uh, relax uh, social distancing standards. Um, I would say something like two weeks to two months. Yeah, that's where but your head is with it. Two weeks is probably really like two weeks ago is wishful thinking. I think right. by now that starts to sound sort of ludicrous. Yeah. So I don't know, a month to two? Yeah, we're thinking something of it the same way where like this is we're about to get into the eye of it in the next week or two and how long we stay in the eye becomes the question mark. Um, but it, it may also become the we kind of need to be into the eye. I think like there's a spot where we have to get in 
to that, in my humble opinion. And I think we're we're staring it down right now. So uh, it's like you're on a boat, right? You're in the middle of the storm, and and you want to get to the other side, and you want to see the clouds start to part and the sun come out a little bit. Well, it's right now. There's lightning all around us, and we can't see the the, the cloud parts, but uh, we will. And when we start to, we'll, we'll we'll gravitate in that direction. Carlos, thanks for coming on People Passion Power, man. You know you're a good friend, and I love your brother. And uh, love you too, Jace. Love you, know, you too. You're the man. We'll be uh, we'll be talking to you regularly, and and thanks for sharing your insight, Carlos Garcia. Everybody, billion dollar agent, and most importantly, my boy Los. Thanks for coming on the show. I look forward to uh, I look forward to future episodes of your show, man. I really like it. Cool. Thank you, buddy. We'll uh, Thank we'll you talk too. to you soon. Thanks for coming on. Real estate is what we building on. You know what I'm saying, man? It's just.